Hey YouTube land out there, how's everybody going? I hope everybody's having a great and prosperous day. Me, myself, a-okay, alright? Now, I wanted to do um, a review on Love & Hip Hop finally. Okay, before I get started, if you don't mind to hit the like, subscribe, um, notification, or leave me a comment, that would be great. The most important thing to me is subscribe. I love my subscribers because I just love having conversations with y'all, okay? Now, I have not done a review on Love & Hip Hop like this season at all because they ain't been giving us nothing that even is like five minutes worth of talking about. And I, I just ain't got time for that. And I'm not wasting y'all time, alright? That's, that's also a key thing. I'm not wasting my time nor y'all time, alright? So... But there's enough things for me to collect upon to talk about. So let's start with one. Monice and Lyrica. All right. Now, we already established that Monice is batshit crazy. We already established that um, Lyrica obviously is about that life. All right. Now, the thing that was hilarious is Monice tried Lyrica twice. And Lyrica put that ass in check twice. And Monice did absolutely nothing twice. Okay, so this leads to tell us that Monice, even though she crazy and she do all that, I can whoop anybody ass, she know better. She know better. She knows she can't whoop everybody ass because she knew she couldn't take on Lyrica. Because the thing about Lyrica is different type of people, in which I've always said, because my mother is the same type of person. As long as you leave my mom alone, she cool. But you mess with her husband, her child, her mother or father, her God or her church, and her grandbabies, oh, baby, you will not recognize my mother, okay? And Lyrica seems to be the same way. Because when she said, I don't like, can't even stand looking at your ass, Monice didn't say a peep. Not a peep. I was like, oh, no, not big bad Monice. No, she didn't. Zip up, but yes, bitch, she did, okay? Because she wasn't crazy. She know Lyrica ain't about that. Some people just ain't about that. You get them mad, and it's usually them quiet-ass, friendly people that will lay your ass straight on out when you make them mad, all right? So that's a lesson learned out there for everybody. Now, Tierra Marie. I'm not going to speak on her sobriety or drinking things. I don't know nothing about that to do with her. But what I do know, I pray that she gets the help that she needs. But what I do know is that white woman was about to catch some hooks, okay? Because first of all, when she walked into the house, I didn't understand why the white woman, in which I'm just saying white woman because I don't know her name, you know, getting all up in her face like, um... My, I came to talk to you because of your friends wanted it's like bitch back up like why are we why are you in my bubble like bubble space have you ever heard of it get the hell out of it you know what I mean she kept doing all this and all that and it was just like mm, you're gonna get hit then second of all when she sat up there and she tried to tell Monice in Monice's house to go sit her ass now and not come for her friend. And I loved it when Tierra Marie corrected her ass real quick. It's like, you lucky Monice was in one of the moods where she was focused on trying to help her friend because that would have been your ass, white lady. That would have been your ass real quick. You don't tell nobody to go sit down in their own damn house. You don't tell nobody to go sit down as hugging a friend. I don't know what damn type of counselor you are, but you don't do that shit. If she needed a hug, she needed a hug. You don't stop that. You got on my damn nerves. Now, um, with Fizz, I think she asked Fizz to leave simply because, you know, it was like, ah, why are you there? We don't, you know. And I think Fizz was only there because AD and Monique probably asked him to be. Now, Naya, Neela, whatever the hell her name is, Riley, um, yeah. Well, no reason for her to be there. I don't understand why she is in any scene because the only 
Every time she in a scene, she either looking stupid, if she don't talk, she just looking stupid. And if she talks, she just sounds stupid. I don't know the purpose of you, but I do know that Mona is pimping the hell out of you. Because for you to be in every other scene, that check can't be that big. You ain't nothing but a friend to a show since you, you ain't been on a show six, since second season. And we see why, because you can't, you ain't got no... You ain't got no, mm. And then your face is just one of them annoying ass faces. So not, name, whatever, I can't even remember your name, girl. But get the hell off the show, Riley, girl. Last name I know is Riley. Get the hell off the show. Don't even be a friend to the show, because you just, ooh, you get on my nerves. Now I'm sick of it, sick of it, sick of it, sick of Girl, you was one of the scariest bitches I've seen in life. And I've seen some scary hoes, all right? Some scary hoes. And you, my dear, you, my dear, are a special type of scary hoe, okay? You are a special type of scary hoe, Masika. You do all this talk, all this talk, and then run from that girl like it ain't nothing. Okay, you do all that talk, all right? Now, this is the thing with Masika, okay. I need you to stop saying I'm tired of making bitches famous. I'm still trying to figure out what bitch you made famous. Masika, you ain't even famous. You are popular, honey. I could go outside and ask 12 people, who the hell Masika Mache or Lache, whatever, who is Masika off Love and Hip Hop? And I bet you, I bet you if they ain't black, not a damn person know. And I know quite a few black people that I can ask and still won't know. Like who? 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 Don't nobody know you, Masika. You ain't done nothing in the world to be famous. So I need you to stop that. You are a re reality personality. It's far, 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 far distance from reality personality to famous to celebrity. Three different um, levels, okay? Who was that rapper um, that said it's levels to this? Uh, Meek Mill, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's levels to this, bitch. Levels, okay? And you nowhere near no damn famous level, okay? So you need to get that out your mind. Second thing you need to get out your mind is you ain't made nobody famous. First of all, um, Alexis had one million followers before she was even on the show. So Alexis was making money before... She knew where the hell Masika was, okay? So you need to quit acting like you're going to up her fame because she's doing that on her own. And third of all, Masika, you know you was the hoe in the situation because they were together. They were a couple. They were public. It was known and all that everywhere. You slid and opened them legs and let him in there without no rubber, not knowing nothing about that man luckily only came up with a baby then want to run from the bitch and then want to sit down with the bitch with the with the baby mama see that scene, whole scene was stupid because I'm looking at the baby mama you done came all the way to LA to run up behind a nigga that obviously don't want you and you sitting at the table with Miss Seeker looking stupid because she was if if, if um Alexis Sky cheated if she was the side hoe when you were the girl, then Alexis had to be. Because he was out in front with Alexis. I ain't never see you in the vlogs, honey. So, I don't know what that was talking about. But both y'all hoes look dumb. But Masika, I do know you was one scary bitch. Okay? And that's ridiculous. That is really ridiculous how scary you are. Now, Alexis, you are doing your thing and everything. But... You also scary because when y'all had that little fight um, last night and Masika jumping about 50, you 50 feet away and Masika jumping like she could actually reach you. <sighs> Get on my nerves with that bullshit. And every time y'all come together or whatever, y'all just do too much of this. Do too much of this. If you really want a bitch, you run up on her. 
that's really what you do and y'all sit up there and tell each other and tell everybody where y'all at all the time so if you really want a bitch you run up on her so neither one of y'all i really don't think want it okay but i damn sure know masika is scared and i think alexis just had her weedies because tv cameras around i don't really think you about that life like I fight all day every day like let's say Tommy is on Atlanta or um Jocelyn is or Cardi B is them bitches is I fight all day every day if I have to Alexa Sky you're not that bred of female okay so I need you to stop acting like that okay and um that video you made where you sitting up there talking about some on YouTube talking about everybody talking about you was a boss and all this look at this what I got to be jealous of pulling up your pants showing your ass you look stupid as hell on that you're a beautiful woman and all that but that video you just look dumb it's like so all your assets and all that you you just a boss because you got a big ass and you might like it made no sense it's like why are you entertaining these hoes because you're pressed about them like it's, it's just it's just stupid move on everybody move on fatty moved on to his next bitch i don't know why y'all arguing with each other about it i know you need to whoop and seek ass just simply because of all the shit she talked now that don't need to slide past nowhere but um Ceiling, yeah. No, uh, Mr. J, I don't know who the hell you are, Miss J, Miss J. I'll call him Pillsbury Doughboy, the little fat, um, gay guy with the red top. Um, I don't know the purpose of you being on the show. I'm tired of seeing you on the show. Um, it's yeah. one of the things that was most offensive to me if I was gay when um, Masika and Monice were sitting up there talking about some, we don't want to have to figure in Nyla dumbass was sitting up there talking about they don't want to have to choose which gay friend to invite to a party if i was gay that would bother me because it's like so if i'm having a party do i need to decide between you three bitches which straight person i'm going to invite that would have offended me so i don't know if that offended the gay community but it should have because it was a very misplaced wrong comment okay now last but not least ray damn j and princess i don't really care about this baby situation i hope y'all have one you know i have hope y'all have a happy marriage or whatever but i just don't care enough to be seeing this but princess i know if you go to another shaman or whatever the hell she was the little white lady indian lady whatever she was um and let ray j be the drum and put some crystals on on you which i'm sure was a pretty damn penny just to tell you oh um i don't think ray j want to have a baby i reach through the tv to slap your ass you don't ever sit up there and let somebody tell you what your husband think and <laughs> like princess really you really you sat up there you gonna listen to a hold of don't know y'all from from nothing from your husband telling you yeah baby i want to have a baby but i'm also trying to make this money i'm also trying to get my sperm count up i got some things going on i'm trying to bring my career back to that's him saying that then you got a woman over here telling him to beat a drum and hum um i guess his humming wasn't right and i really feel like he doesn't want to have a baby and you over there like i i feel i feel it too and then you had that conversation with um nia and her dumb ass not being a friend didn't smack your ass into reality like bitch if you ever set up that you could have paid me to sit there and tell you to set your ass down and you and ray j gonna make that baby you could have gave that check to me like didn't make any sense at all but that's my thoughts on it that's all that's been happening i want to see next week how the situation is going to play out with brooke hazel and booby because i see brooke brooke is just very petty beautiful woman gorgeous voice but she seems real petty and real vindictive when she don't get what she wants. so i want to see how that turns out um but that's all so you know that's all i can think of if i missed anything you could put it down below what is your thoughts on it do you agree with me do you disagree with me was i wrong i don't think so but if you feel that i am hey let me know you want to talk about it let, let's talk about it i'm just saying what i feel and i i'm just i hope miami is so much better because it's just 
I feel like they're running out of shit, okay? They're running out of shit to talk about and do, you know? So that's my thoughts on it. I appreciate you spending your time with me as I always do, okay? And I'm going to go finish making dinner and gladly eat it, okay? So I hope you all have a great and prosperous night. And remember to stay blessed and try your best to bless somebody else. And I will see you on my next video, okay? Bye.